Assalamu alaikum dear students, welcome to our math class video. Today we are going to study number of factors of natural numbers. But before uh, studying factor, number of factors, finding number of factors, we must study or we must know uh, some other things which are factors of natural numbers and also how can we find the number and all the factors of a number. So at first you must know what is a factor? Let me write the definition of factors of natural number. So factors of a number, for example, A can completely divide sorry the number. You can have just this definition, a factor of a number or the number which can be divisible or which can divide completely without any remainder. You must also add in here that without remainder. For example, let us find the number of factors or the factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? How can we find the factors? So as we mentioned in the definition, the definition says that all the factors, all the numbers which can completely divide 12 or completely divide the number are the factors. Let us check from 1. 12 can be completely divided by 1. So we can write that 1 is a factor of 12 because it can divide 12 completely. And after that we have 2. We can divide 12 by 2 and the remainder will be 0. 3 is, uh, 3 is also a factor of 12 because 12 can divide 3 and also we have 4 and 6, 12. These are all the factors of 12 that 12 is divisible by these numbers. So and here we can see that we have about 6 factors of 12. So another example for the factors we can write the factors of, for example, we have 13. What are the factors of 13? And here you must investigate, you must search numbers that which numbers are divisible by 13 or which numbers are those numbers that 13 is divisible by them. Uh, and here you must see we start from 1, 13 is divisible by 1 because when we divide 13 by 1, the remainder will be 0. And after that, when we see 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 12, there are no any number that 13 is divisible to them. So we have just 1 and 13 uh, that can divide 13 completely. So in here we see that the factors of 13 are two factors. As we mentioned before, as we said before, about composite and prime numbers, the numbers which has only two factors are called prime numbers, and here 13 is a prime number, but the numbers which have more than two factors are composite numbers, and here 12 is a composite number that we mentioned here. Okay, students, the second issue we are gonna study is prime factorization. Prime factorization means to find all the prime factors of a number and to find the prime factorization or prime factors of a number we have different methods for finding the prime factorizations and which an example we have find the prime factorization of 24 we have different methods I said before first method is called the factor tree or finding the factors of a number prime factors I mean by tree method we can add here factor 3. Factor 3 is a method. It has branches for finding the prime factors of a number. First, we must write or we must find the product of two numbers, which is equal to 24. After that, we will find at the last the prime factors of the 24. Let us write 24 at the top of the uh, branch. And after that, we have which numbers or the product of how many numbers or which numbers will be 24, we can write 8, 3, or we can write 7, uh, 6, 2, 
4. 6 times 4 will be 24. It, uh, we can write 24 as the product of two numbers, which is 6 and 4. After that, we will find two prime factors or two numbers, uh, which the product is 6. So, as a result, we will have 2 and 3 because 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 and 3 are prime numbers. And also, we can 4 as the product of two prime numbers, which are 2 and 2. So, this is called factor 3 that by branches or bar by 3 we can find the prime factor the prime factors are 2 3 2 are the same so we can just say that the factors or prime factors of 24 are 2 and 3 and we can write it as 24 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 or also we can write as to the power of 3 times 3 this is called factor Three. And also we have the second method for finding the prime factors of a number, which is the method of vertical and horizontal line. We draw a horizontal line and also a vertical line. After that we will see which number can be divide, can divide 24 completely, which is 2. We start from least prime number, which is 2. So and here we have 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. Divide by 2, we have 6. Divide by 2, we have 3. Divide by 2, we have. Divide by 3, we have 1. So, and here we can also write 24 as the product of prime numbers. 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 3. Just an example of. Finding prime factorization of 24, you can do the same way for another numbers. Okay guys, our third issue is number of factors of natural number become to our topic, which is finding number of factors. It means, how can we find the number of factors of a natural number without counting them all? For example, I mentioned the first issue, that for finding the number of factors or factors of a number, we must see that for which number they are divisible. We can easily find the number of factors of 12, 24, 36, and Ariana numbers which are smaller. But when we have greater number or bigger numbers, we, it will be very difficult to find all the number of factors. So we must have a short way to find or a short method to find the number of factors of natural numbers. So in here we have a definition for number of factors of natural numbers. Pretend that is a number, pretend is a natural number and uh, after prime factorization or after finding the factors by factor 3 or the other method, you can see that a is equal to a to the power of x times b to the power of y times c to the power of z. In here a, b, c are natural numbers. Uh, sorry, A, B, C are prime numbers and X, Y and Z are element of natural numbers. So for finding the prime factor or for finding, sorry, the number of factors, we must write number of factors. We have an easy way, which is X plus 1 times Y plus 1 times Z plus 1. By this short method or by this formula, you can easily find the number of factors, I mean that a number have how many factors. So for example, let us find the number of factors, find the number of factors of for example 28. Before counting all the factors of 28, how can we easily or shortly find that 28 has how many factors? So first, at the first, we must find all the prime factors of 28. We start from 2, 1, 2, 4, 2 is 8 by 2, 7, 2 is 14 by 7, 1, 7 is 7. So in here you can see 28 is equal to 2 times 2 times 7 and also you can write it as 28 equals to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 1. It is obviously you can see that 7 has no power, the power is 
1. So in here you may see what are the powers of 2 and 7 and here we mentioned that the power of x, the power of a plus 1, the power of y plus b plus 1, the power of c plus 1 is the short way of finding number of factors. So in here we can see that the power of 2 is 2 and the power of 7 is 1. So easily for number of factors we have the formula x plus 1 times y plus 1 you can write 2 plus 1 and 1 plus 1. We just write the powers here and add 1 to them. So you know that 2 plus 1 is 3. You can write 3 and 1 plus 1 is 2. Easily you can multiply 3 times 2 is 6. It means that 28 has 6 factors. To be sure or to prove that 28 has 6 factors, you can find all the factors of 28. So 28 can be uh, divided by 1 without any remainder. It can be divided by 2. It can be divided by 4. It can be divided by 7. And also it can be divided by 14. And also 28. You can see that 28 has 6 factors. And it is the proof of the question. Okay guys, this was our today's topic. Hope you enjoy and learn something. Inshallah, we will see in the next lessons, which are related to the, our lesson, GC, D, LCM, and other topics we will study in the future. Have a good time.